I've been sitting and I'm currently journaling, so I'm safe. Nobody's bothering me, and I ate some Subway. The only thing out here that's trying to get me are these darn crows. Okay, so I'm gonna pack my little bag and we're gonna get ready to go. Let's go, bomb my nose. Okay, y'all, so I'm at the river. I am gonna get closer and like walk it after I eat. But y'all, like they changed this whole section and my favorite tree looks like they cut it down. I'm gonna go, Ashley is right here. That's my favorite tree. I'm gonna set up like right there. I have my little thing. Okay, so I'm getting my stuff. But they just manicured the lawn. That's what's going on. Hopefully no nosy ass person comes and tries to disturb me. There's no one out here right now, but it seems like, I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but it doesn't matter where I go in the world. It doesn't matter where. Somebody's always right behind me or on my trail. And I don't get it. Like, I understand my energy is like, <laughs> my energy is enticing. But back up. <laughs> back all the way up. And I took a Delta 8 gummy, just to let you know. If I seem to shift a little bit, that's why, so. The birds are gonna be after me. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna be over here. Going right here in this little cut also be behind this trash can so nobody can bother me. Set this right here for a second. But there's no one out here. I'm about to eat. I got like a veggie delight from Subway. I just get it. No olives, no jalapenos. So I just don't go that way. Oh, this is what I had earlier a few minutes ago. I got some cookies, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, God, for this food. Thank you for blessing me with the finances to buy this food. And I pray that if anyone out here does not have what they need, that you I know that you are blessed with it. Amen. Amen. Welcome to my city. Crows always flock to me. This is never a thing. Even outside my bedroom window, you'll see they flock to me. But all the way around, a beautiful view. Y'all, you are not getting any of my food. They have tried me before times I've come down here before. Today is my, um, I set the intention to spend time with myself, to date myself. I've been doing that for the past year, since last year. Um, when I had like on and off relations or situationships with people, and I just had to sit down and decide and figure out what I want for me. Uh-uh, no, sir. You coming this way. You see this crow? You see this crow? Thought you were gonna get my food, and I don't think so, bruh. But God puts things before you. Like love has been in my um, in my energy for a while, and just seeing this family, it's like a black family, and it's a 
a mother and a father with their children and one of their children is like a older and another one is like a toddler and they're out here just enjoying their time out in nature watching the ducks and such so that's something i aspire to have just seeing that is like you know i'm like in the i like to be out in the area where i can manifest and i feel like being around water and seeing like this beauty just inspires me in my dreams okay i'm gonna journal a little bit so i'm gonna come back to y'all yo this is so saint this ne necklace keeps flipping and i know i put it on right and the wind hasn't been that strong but it's my grandma my g ma but um <laughs> I just sent my mom a video. Okay, I'm glad I brought a blanket because they took the benches out of each little area down here, but I've been sitting and I'm currently journaling, so I'm safe. Nobody's bothering me and I ate some Subway. The only thing out here that's trying to get me are these darn crows. Like, I grew up here and this park has always been like a really big park and just the views, it's just been everything, you know. I'm blessed, I have to say that I am blessed to be able to just walk downtown and see this. This is like a haven, you know, so beautiful. I am going to walk the um, rubber walk before I leave here so you can really get a good view. I've been journaling mainly, like I said, that couple kind of inspired me to write about love because you know i know we all have experienced this well not everyone some people are blessed to find their one or at least someone who will be genuine and um, loving and supportive in their life um and everyone doesn't find that person a second oh, let me try to balance this here So everyone doesn't find that person in life, but I'm, I'm just having, like, I'm learning, I've learned because I can't help it. Like, I want to love someone so much, but sometimes, like, I wasn't open to love and I had to work through that. I had to do some shadow work and, like, even just now, like, on my job, even simple things as receiving compliments, I didn't want to accept them. Like if someone called me beautiful, I didn't believe them, um, you know, and I'd be like, have a negative response to it instead of just saying thank you, just taking it, you know, whether I felt it or not. And I'm learning to just take compliments. Um, I keep hearing voices and I, I hear kids screaming. Um, they're probably at the water park and they got hit by water or something, but, um, yeah, opening, being vulnerable as well. I was, I had like a wall up of, obviously I had a wall up and what I was saying is that, um, I had to just date myself and, um, the first thing, like, I watch RuPaul's Drag Race, and I know Ru always says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else, you know? And that's, like, real talk. I don't know why this person is staring at me like this. Like, I am minding my own business. Like, I mean, out the freaking window. Is my ass out? Is that what's going on? It's so creepy. Like, but wait. <laughs> This black car right there, this dude, he was in a lime green shirt, and he got out his car. Y'all, this dude got out of his car window, and he's driving, mind you, and looked out to look at me, and I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so weird. So weird. How does it do to be? But anyway. Yeah, I don't care because I have, ah oh, shoot, my earring. I have headphones on and I'm talking to somebody, so that's my business, duh. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> um, oh, relationships and 
being open um, by dating myself and breaking down those walls and barriers and loving myself. Oh my gosh, the spiritual baths, the yoni steams. Ladies, get into yoni steaming. I know some people are not into it, but it helps clean out, you know, energy as well as toxins in your body. And if you want me to do a video on that, let me know. Um, spiritual baths for sure is the intentions that you set the prayer beforehand. Like, that is another topic that I want to talk about or to learn about because I feel like there's a way that I should be praying to God. I can't, the main prayer that I can only think of to say often is thank you. Thank you, always. Um, if nothing else, but I don't know. I feel like words are not enough for my gratitude, like how grateful I am. Words are not enough. So actions must be, I have to live my life. My prayer could be my life, living my life for God, or living my dreams out for God and living the best life that I can live for me, being my authentic self. Living in love, accepting love, and also being love and giving love. Showing love. Expressing that gratitude daily, showing it, helping others. of myself investing in my mind my spirituality meditating praying taking care of my body <laughs> dating myself still even if I'm in a relationship I think that's necessary um, I, I'm not gonna say I'm not the clingy type but I care about minds, you know what I mean? Like, they're not minds, but the people that I love, I really do. And I ride hard for them. Like, if you need something, I'll be there. Kim Pasa. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I probably look like that crazy park lady right now, but <laughs> I'm cool with it. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'm gonna continue journaling and listening to some music. I did bring my cards, but I don't know if I'm going to use them out here. Change the way that you 